Oh, it's working. Hey guys, it's Michelle. Just wanted to quickly show you the view before we got started outside of my house. It's pretty nice. Anyway, um, so this is day eight. This is Friday. I had ACL surgery last Friday and I had a picture of, um, I had a picture of, um, me at physiotherapy today because um, that's where I was. And now I'm in my massage clinic. This is my cool massage clinic. See, there's my desk. There's my fish tank and fish. Oh, there's that cool light. Thanks, Louisa, for that. And um, here's my massage table, which I will be sitting on. I'm not sitting there anymore or standing. I'm sitting on the massage table because I am the patient. And here's my cool Lululemon water bottle. Anyway, okay, so I had a few things to say. Like, um, all right, well, yesterday I saw the, as you know, if you've seen it, I saw the surgeon and um, Uh, I got a new friend to record it, and there was a big sign on the wall that says no photography or filming. So um, it was like, we had to be sneaky about it because he didn't want to get caught and go to, um, you know, hospital jail or whatever it is they take you. So he did it wrong and put it this way rather than that way. That's why it's a bit awkward, but really good information there from the surgeon. So, um, oh, and sorry that he gave some shade to the U.S. surgeons saying about whether or not you need a brace. Um, I don't know. Anyway, um, you have to watch it. It's very informative. Let's see. So... After I saw him, I realized, okay, you know, I'm like, oh, my ACL journey. It's going so well. Like, what? <laughs> this is easy. Um, until I saw the surgeon, as you've seen, he's like, um, why is your knee not straight? I'm like, what? <laughs> well, just watch it. Like, okay, I'll show you my knee right now. This is as straight as I can get it. See, uh, I'll be working on that. I don't know. I just thought, you know, when you break a leg or something, don't people just sit in front of the TV and just like get better? Maybe do whatever workout they can. Oh yeah. Um, the other night I scratched myself right there in bed because I was moving blankets. You know, you have the pillows and the blankets. I went. I need baby gloves. Um, oh yeah, anyway, before the surgeon came in, I got my stitches taken out. But anyway, yeah, he made me feel bad. Like, oh my God, I guess I haven't been doing enough to straighten it. And he's like, J just take some textbooks and put them under your ankle all the time until it's good. Like at night when you go to bed and stuff. Imagine being married to that, like. Does he real? I don't think he knows how much it hurts to bend your knee straight. It feels like you take your finger, see this joint right here, and you bend that backwards. Like, okay, when you when you watch like a horror show or a violent show on TV and you see somebody kicking someone's knee back, that's how it feels to straighten your knee. And I researched it. It's because they use a, you know, your hamstring tendon and they put it in so tight because they don't want it over, you know, if you stretch it out, it's going to, the tibia is going to go too far forward again like it did in the first place. So they make it so it's super, super tight. So you got to stretch it to where you want it. So when you're stretching your knee, notice I've got bruising now. When you're stretching your knee, he doesn't know this. I don't think any physios know this, but it's the most pain 
while I've ever felt in my life. Like, the most pain. Like, it feels like I'm overextending it. Like, it's like this. It feels like I'm overextending it. Like, it's going backwards. Like, somebody getting their knee kicked backwards. That's how it feels. So, like, imagine, like, you're going to bed at night with the surgeon I had. And he's like, oh, put some textbooks under your heel. What? Textbooks? Like, not even a freaking pillow? Like, it's going to be hard on your ankle. It's rough on you. Anyway, so I'm, like, feeling like my ACL journey is going poorly. Because I haven't been doing much to straighten it. I guess, like, whatever. Maybe I should have had the brace, but I didn't want to mention that again yesterday. He was pretty triggered about that. Uh, anyway, so uh, I was really worried about going to my first physio appointment today. Because I was worried that she was going to be like, oh my god. Let's just reef it into... Let's put some textbooks under there. But she was a she was a little bit more sympathetic at least. I'm like, oh, it hurt. She's like, okay, you can let it go. I looked on YouTube at some people who um it's nice out there. At some people, some physios, and they're like, okay, just put pillows under your ankle, and then you put some weight down on your knee. It'll be a little uncomfortable. Just hold it for 15. I'm like, like, it hurts more than childbirth. It's horrible. It's... Anyway. So now we all know it hurts a lot. But anyway, so I guess I gotta hurt myself. But I'm only gonna do it for, like, five minutes at a time, I guess. Like, I can't do more than that. It hurts. Extreme hurts. Anyway. We all know that. Except you people who had the brains. And that's why... I... You know, everyone's like, oh my God, I just had surgery. The first like four days hurt so much because you're in your brace, your knee is straight. Whereas I'm running around with a bent knee. I'm going, oh my God, this is bad. <laughs> I'm paying for it now. So yeah, my ACL journey sucks. All right. <clears throat> Last night I went for a walk. I had to take the dog for a walk by myself. And I, I just put my nightlight on my bike night light on my crutch and I was out in the dark in the woods with the in the trails <clears throat> and there's all these like mountain bikers around and stuff and I felt like jingles from American Horror Story I'm like <laughs> you know making that weird like scary sound <sighs> oh I'm such a weirdo and it was awesome going up I'm like oh my god I gotta like go to the cross like an hour up there like no problem going up feels great but um, going down, I'm like, oh my god, my shoulders are sore. I only went up for about 20 minutes. So that's that. Oh, yeah. Did I tell you? Yeah, I got my stitches removed, too, before the surgeon came in. Okay, just reading my notes here. Yes, I'm not hurting myself enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I, the physio, she said, because you can't... Okay, the other thing I can't... do. Yeah is um i can't like contract my quad at all because i really oh it freaking hurts if i have a towel under there under my knee i can contract it slightly and so the physio is like well you got quad syndrome i'm like oh something else okay. <sighs> oh and she said okay so you're straightening about at nine degrees I don't know why in the bathtub, when I was in the bathtub and I ticked, I said 90 um, percent and 100 percent and all that. Oops, I meant degrees, whatever. She said, so I'm nine degrees straight. And for bent, it's 96 degrees, she said. <sighs> whatever. Oh. So I think bending it's going to be a lot easier than trying to straighten it. Um, okay, there's one silver lining of this whole thing. <sighs> well, because, like, my appetite decreased, I lost, like, five pounds. <laughs> yeah. 
Yay. And I don't think it's of muscle. Maybe one pound of it, but I noticed I lost my gut. Especially I look at my other videos, I'm like, ooh, quite the punch. Um <laughs> But anyway, um Yeah, I lost that. Well, because I'm not I used to eat a lot because um I'd either be running I live right by a mountain. I'd either be running up the mountain or riding up the mountain or hiking or going to the gym or whatever so i had an appetite of starving all the time so um but now it's like i have my bone broth in the morning and then it's like oh maybe get up and eat sometimes so i just try to get that out of my head because it's i'm really comfortable right so i um don't and i'm not even hungry at all like i lost my appetite and so then around three o'clock or something i'm like oh god my stomach is growing so then I get up to the, go to the kitchen because I don't have a mom like I know some youtubers are like mom coffee please and they're like oh my baby yes I'm like oh, oh my god I'd be like mom chocolate and cookies no sugar anyway so I hobble to the kitchen and like I don't want to make a salad like I don't want to be on my feet longer than I have to be so I look around for something convenient like oh look some cooked sausages in there microwave it eat it done and then even when i'm like oh i'll get five i'm like oh i can only eat like three and then i'm full for the rest of the day because i i mean i am <laughs> so like <laughs> being active <laughs> oh so um yeah, I don't think walking, remember I was walking a couple days ago at the gym without my crutches for like five steps or something. Um, I don't think that's a good idea because I can't walk properly. Like, if it's bent like this, check it out. Jesus, can you see? There's my good leg in front. And then see the, the back leg is the bad leg. It's bent. So I'm like, ugh, ugh. I'm walking like that. Then it's going to, um, then if I'm walking like that, it, I think it'll get more stuck like that. And, uh, I don't want to walk like that, like Ray Donovan for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I got to, I like leaning on things. There's where I used to sit. It's a pretty cool office. It's warm in here. That's what I like about it. It's like warm colors. It got candles. It smells good. <sighs> oh, um, one thing I noticed, Kate, you know how like your hamstring hurts because you know, they crop some of it out. Um, it feels like I would be like, ah. Anyway, you can massage it. See? You just go in where it hurts and just go like that. And I made it feel like way better. I didn't think I could fix it with massage, so. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Like when I'm doing that, obviously I'm um, making the rest of the hamstring that hasn't been cropped out of there um, more flexible getting the circulation going to it um so do that it's it makes a huge ouch i just found a spot it makes a huge difference just go to where it hurts and go side to side and just like don't go deep i don't know when i can go back to work i don't think i want to be standing all day on a bent leg <laughs> Imagine if my patients came in like, hey, my back's a little sore, and I come out in crutches. They'd be like, uh, should I massage you? Yeah. So, anyway, um, oh, so, I, you guys call it PT in the States. I call it physio, whatever. Um, when I was there, what she did was try to straighten that first thing. I'm like, uh, and then just being out, it got swelled. And really hot. 
I guess it doesn't get swelled and hot for me normally because I'm always icing it and lifting it up. But oh my god, it got so hot. I'm like, ah, it feels hot and swelled. Like the stitches are going to come out, but I already got, I'm taken out. And oh, I want to take this band-aid off. I hate this band-aid because I put ice pack on it and it feels like the cold is not absorbing through. I don't think it's bleeding anymore. But uh, our, uh, my surgeon's nurse said, just leave that on until it falls off. I might have to immerse it in water later. Anyway, let's see my notes. If anyone has any questions, just ask. Because, I mean, like, I'm not doing anything else right now. I may as well answer questions. It's not like I'm working. <laughs> I'm just in the most torture of my life. God, that first part of my journey was awesome. I'm like, what's everybody complaining about? This is either. I just go on ACL YouTubes and watch Ray Donovan, Queen of the South, have a good life. Oh, after my surgeon, now my life is going to be about torture. Um... Just reading. Oh, so um, my doctor gave me like seven Celebrex for to decrease inflammation. Oh, I gotta lay down. And um, I ran out, but I found out that um, naproxen is basically the exact same thing. It lasts for 12 hours. I'm uncomfortable. This is how I sit all the time. Leg propped up, bent at the knee. Did you hear what I said to Dr. Arnesia? I'm like, well, he's like, I always have that leg straight. I'm like, what, what about at night? Mama needs to sleep. It's like, well, at night, yeah. I don't worry about it at night. Like, after seeing him though, I was like, okay, well, I'll try. No, I'm laying there going, <sighs> person needs to sleep to recover. <sighs> Jesus. Anyway, he said, if you don't, well, you'll see that video, hopefully. One back, if it's not straight, in two months when I see him again, well, two and a half months, he's got to go in there and do surgery. Oh, yeah, and we caught, got caught off <laughs> abruptly because his nurse came in. She's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, ah. So my friend had to cut it off. He didn't want, he was so scared of getting, you know, the phone taken away and taken to the principal's office or him going to, like, the psych ward or something. Whatever they do to people in the hospital if they get caught. He was scared shitless. <laughs> He's not a rule breaker. With me, I'm like always in trouble for something. So I'm like, oh, well, caught again. <laughs> but hey, people need to know that stuff. I, I did it for you guys. I got so much knowledge from YouTube. I'm just like, give them back. If I have to do a few illegal activities, that's okay. Oh, see, maybe I'm working on my flexibility. That's like 90 degrees now. Seems good to lay like this. Although our is like, I don't care about the flexibility. I just want it to be straight. I'm like, oh, the torture one. Anyway, the, the physio was like, well, you've only been out a week. I wouldn't worry about it so much. I'm like, oh, okay, good. I thought she was going to be mad and like refund it or something. So it's bruising up pretty good. Remember I was complaining I didn't have any bruises. Like everyone else got bruises. Oh, wow. I didn't even know there was one back there. That's awesome. Looks hardcore. There's no bruises on this side, though. Okay, I'm going to straighten it. Oh, baby. Oh, anyway. Um, 
I guess that's it. <laughs> I can't think of anything else to say. I always think of something else to say as soon as I turn this off. Like, did I mention tip of my tongue is numb? Because it is. Ugh. That better come back or someone's going to get sued. Just kidding. We don't do that in Canada. We just suffer. Anyway, so, um, I will tape again tomorrow, I guess. I'm just about to go to the gym, actually, because I need my 30-minute workout. I'm not going to work that knee. I just need to, you know, do arms. I didn't actually work out yesterday because my arms and abs were both sore. I'm like, okay, I can do my workout. I'm like, well, how do I do it? Everything actually hurts because I've been doing arms all the time. And abs. I'm like, I can't do any of it. Guess I'm not working out. But now today I'm like, um, I'll go to the gym because I have also, like my arms feel better now that I'm back on the drugs. <laughs> Gotta be on the drugs now, now that I'm straightening. Now I'm like everyone else doing the torture. I'm on the right track. So back to that. Actually, the naproxen it makes it feel it makes everything feel good. Like all oh, my joints, like oh my neck doesn't hurt anymore. So it's good. It's all G. It's okay. All right. Well, I gotta get going to the gym. Um. <laughs> So thanks for watching. Maybe like and subscribe. I don't know. None of my subscribers, 1% actually, are watching these ACL videos because my subscribers like the other stuff I put on. Funny stuff. Oh, and the, the one that they like, I got the name wrong. It's called The Horse Farted and Scared Itself. So if you look it up, you'll see it. Horse Farted and Scared Itself. And then you see it charge forward. And then my daughter is like, grade four and scared her and she jumped over a ditch so that's why I have so many subscribers because I put dumb stuff like that on I don't think my subscribers like this stuff I think I'm losing subscribers because of this actually I know I am it says you're losing my subscribers are like boring who cares about ACL surgery I know well you would if you needed ACL surgery every subscriber here would be like oh my god I better watch this Anyway, okay, well, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll post another one tomorrow. Ciao.